Hi everyone, I'm Rita Peterson with Everything Homemade and this is Nova, my five-year-old. She is going to be my helper today. We are going to make a fantastic barbecue sauce. Now you can use this um, for obviously um, barbecuing any kind of meat. Um, you can also use it to dip. Um, a lot of my kids like to dip their millet cakes in, in the barbecue sauce. Um, anything like, like where you would use barbecue sauce, obviously. So let's get started. It is simple. It'll take you less than two minutes to make as long as you got the ingredients already pulled out. But it's everyday ingredients, so watch how simple it is to make a delicious um, barbecue sauce. Are you ready, Nova? First thing, have some tomato paste. Remember, all the ingredients I will list um, at the end of the video. So this is a fairly large can. Again, you can always divide what I make in half because what I make is for seven people. But the nice thing about barbecue sauce, this will last like two weeks in the fridge. So you can just have it in the fridge ready to go. So tomato paste. If I said sauce, I'm sorry, it's tomato paste. Um, molasses and I use unsulfured um, organic molasses. It's sticky. Yeah. Go Ryan, why don't you come take a look what I'm doing in here. So we're about um, almost about a half a cup There's of molasses. molasses in and that's key to put molasses in here. That's and she's going to mix that up. The next thing I'm going to put in here is ginger ground ginger and we're about a teaspoon of ground ginger next thing I'm gonna put in here is um, some onion powder again about a teaspoon about a half a teaspoon of garlic some salt You got me done. Put a good, good half teaspoon to a teaspoon. Some ground, freshly ground pepper. The pepper shaker needs to get almost filled up. Hey, Nova. Okay. And then some um, apple cider vinegar. And we're going about a tablespoon of that. So she's going to mix it up. So. Well, I get another ingredient ready here. Mommy, this looks good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Smells great, too. Mm. Are we going to put water in it? Yeah, we will in a moment. So the other key ingredient here is cumin. Now, I use cumin when I want a smoky um, flavor and with a barbecue sauce I like adding it in because it really gives that nice smoky um, flavor that I'm looking for. Now I have whole cumin here so I'm going to just put it in my coffee grinder about a teaspoon in here and I'm just going to grind this up. all I should need and I like it fresh there you go and I'm gonna put about half of that in so mix that up again about a half a teaspoon of ground mix that in and now what we're gonna do is take this over to the water and I'm gonna thin it out here a bit so I'm going to just put a good quarter of a cup here and just wait, please. And I'm going to do this slowly so I don't just splash it everywhere. And you want a nice, nice consistency. And now let's taste test. Let's see here. Oh, wonderful. And I'm just going to add a little bit of water, more water, and so about a half a cup altogether. 
and let Nova finish mixing that nice and slowly. And that is it. That is it. Um, all done. Um, under five minutes, we've got a wonderful and lots of it a barbecue sauce that will rival the stores. Now, a couple of variations that, that you can do. You can put in some um, orange peel. You could have, instead of just putting water in, you could change it up and cut open an orange and squeeze an orange. That'll give a really nice orangey flavor. Um, you could uh, put half molasses and half honey if you want a little bit of a different flavor. So a couple of things you could experiment. You can leave out the ginger and just add cumin or leave out the cumin and just add the ginger powder. Um, but this is your base and this will just absolutely taste wonderful with our millet cakes tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel and always share.